So today we're back in Rise of Kingdoms and we're going to be capturing the altar. I have two altars at stake today, one of them being this one right here. We are all prepared and ready to take down the Earth Altar. Then we're going to go refresh our troops, go back to our cities and head on over to our second destination, which my, I'm Team A, we're going to be capturing this altar right here. That's all going to be happening right here with you guys today. Stay tuned. So there's a rally all set up with me inside of it. Plus we have all these troops that are just seem like they're gonna be joining the rally as well to take down this altar. And uh, on that rally, we're sitting at two minutes and 15 seconds before we go in and smash this thing. Again, the rewards are going to be legit and it's gonna give us some of that strength that we need, some of that positioning we want for owning this kingdom. We're gonna wait for that time to pass and then we are gonna watch the battle of the kingdom commence. Now, for all I know, this thing could take 15 seconds or it could be a nice long battle. I'm not really sure yet. It's the first altar that I'm gonna be participating in in this kingdom. So I'm kind of keeping my eye on the city over there in the top left by my profile picture. That's where we're gonna be sending our rally from. And if you guys are part of or involved in Rise of Kingdoms, join the server as well. We got a lot of Rise of Kingdoms discussion going on in there. Helpful stuff as well, so come on through. So we should be about 15 seconds out, and oh, not even, we are going. The march is here. That's us, we're going in, and the battle is about to begin, and this is why you guys are here today. You wanna watch this battle happening now. I don't exactly know what to expect from this. I anticipate this rally is gonna start smashing into this altar, and then all of these troops are waiting to join in and be part of that as well. That is my thought. Let's get it. Let's see how this all goes. Also, if gameplay sounds get too loud during the battle, let me know. Definitely wanna turn that stuff down if you can't hear it. Charge, let's get in there and see what this looks like. Two seconds, one second, and it has begun. We're on that altar, we're starting to beat it down. You guys can see the barbarian image on the altar. That's showing the strength of the altar. And you know what, it's going down pretty quickly. You could also see the health of our rallied army going down as well. Those are injured soldiers, so we need to make sure that we uh, don't die, which we are not going to. We're actually smashing this altar, going really well, nice and easy. And it looks like after we take this down and secure this possession, become owner of this possession of this altar, we are then going to head back to our cities. We're gonna heal up our troops, get our rallies ready to go, and send ourselves over to position number two for the next rally, which is gonna happen in about a half an hour from now. In the meantime, we'll do a whole bunch of stuff in our city, look at what's gathering and all that kind of stuff. So here we go, look at that coming through. It looks like we spanked that one. No issue at all. We have some rewards coming on in down here. We're gonna take a look at those momentarily. But congratulations, we've become the first alliance to capture the Surge Altar. Actually, that wasn't us. We were not the Surge Altar. We were the Earth Altar. Let's see what rewards we grabbed from that also. Come on over here. Oh, check out those beautiful, delicious rewards. 1,500 gems, targeted teleport, 100 30-minute speed-ups, one 1.5 million food, one 1.5 million wood, and one 1.125 million stone. We're gonna claim that, heck yes. And then we have another reward again because we got another one captured within the Alliance. Remember, if your Alliance captures altars, you get rewards from both of them. So I'm getting double the rewards. And here is the battle, check that out. We had some healing going on. You can see the upward in the, uh, the troops. You wanna see how, how cool these battle logs look. These are all the details that you get when you're doing this Rise of Kingdoms. It shows everything that goes on. So if you're into statistics and all that, I mean, this is all never ending stuff. It's pretty darn in depth if that's your kind of thing. In addition to the rewards that you saw me picking up already, we also accomplished Ring of Heroes, where we're getting control of these different altars. It's gonna be 2,000 gems, 20 60-minute speed-ups, and of course, here we go, the level one pass. Available in three days, 22 hours, we'll be getting those rewards as well. As you see, we, we missed Bigger is Better, but we got all the other ones before that. But lots of rewards to be had from being in an alliance that is involved that participates in all this stuff and that dominates the kingdom. 
So in case you guys missed that, as I did, Kuchi had me reinforce his city, which I did, and then he teleported his city right next to the next capture, saving me about a 15 to 20 minute march. So that guy gave me a free ride, and the next thing that we're doing is we are going to be capturing this altar, which is the Harvest Altar. Now we have another group that's actually going to be capturing another altar, so we're going to be getting four rewards within our alliance, which turns out to be 6,000 gems. Now you guys notice, I have 37,000 gems. I've only spent 2,000 gems to get my VIP to level 6, so I can get that extra builder. And uh, I don't know what I'm going to spend it on. I'm assuming that I'm going to be waiting to spend it on my um, the wheel to grab Richard and YSG. That's going to be my plan. All right, so we're set up with our second rally, and that should be going in against this altar in three minutes. Then we're going to be capturing this second altar, which is the harvest altar, getting another bundle of those rewards like we saw before. Plus, we should be getting more rewards on top of that from our other rally going against one of the other altars. So, big rewards today, capturing some altars and uh, watching some big battles. But to be honest, guys, they go down pretty easy, a lot easier than I thought that they would. So, that's it's pretty cool. Not much more of a march. And notice we are going past those guardians. If you guys didn't see my video on how to deal with guardians, I do have a video on the channel focusing on just that if you don't know what the guardians are all about. But maybe you do. I don't know guys, being part of these things, even though it seems like something simple, it is really just a ton of fun. Now you're gonna watch again, the numbers under the skiller, his rally is losing health because we are battling the barbarians within this altar, but the red bar under that barbarian is their health. Once we get that health down to nothing, we are victorious. We have more people joining the rally, I believe. And here we go. Now you're hearing those sounds, I believe. Hopefully it's not too bad, not too loud because we're having our troops slam into and our abilities slam into that altar. A few birds flying by. Beautiful. Beautiful. And uh, we are about halfway done. Health of the troops are sitting pretty good. We should have no issue taking down and taking control of this altar. Then we're going to see the rewards coming through again, which are probably the best thing about these events, are grabbing those massive amounts of rewards. And notice the health of our rally is getting stronger. It loses health, but then gets stronger. And that's because skills and skill trees and abilities buff and reheal our troops. So even though they die or they don't die, even though they get injured, they will come back and get stronger because of those, those commander abilities. And it looks like a bunch of us in there have commanders that are going to actually heal up the troops. And there we go. The victory has been had. We're going inside of the alt. Let me go, and I'm gonna I'm gonna camp my troops right here, just in case they need me for something else. And now we're gonna click on in and check on these rewards that we just got. There you go. Again, the 1500 gems, another targeted teleport, 130 minute speed ups. Those are massive, and these are just straight up speed ups, and all of the loot, which is great, especially for someone like myself that's trying to upgrade the city. Obviously, we want to get the city hall 25, max it out. My other account it's all maxed but i can't bring it to this kingdom for i think it's three months because i can't bombard this kingdom with that power that would be bullying and here is the uh the log of that now remember we have another group that's doing a rally against another altar so we should get another thing of these rewards as well all right here they go storming on in to the altar let's see how quickly they could take it down. Lots of power coming on in. No guardians protecting, but again, the altar itself does protect because of the barbarians within. Not that you're going to lose the battle. Unless you go in extremely under power. Remember, you don't want to bring your siege units. You want to make sure you bring in your tier two, tier three, tier four, and tier fives. Uh, but not siege, of course. Those are for gathering people. But you're going to come on in and you're going to smash this thing. And it's going to be pretty easy gaining those rewards, which I will show you one more time at the very end of all of this. So here they go, on into the battle, right through that Guardian. The Guardian doing nothing because it's just uh, AI, AI that's sitting there. And here we go, the battle has begun. The Barbarians are defending the altar. Although all you see is a structure, you can notice some arrows leaving the altar and shooting out towards our troops. So those are not going to be able to slow us down. Look at them. They are smashing this altar. We have some Minamoto skills I see being used right there. Some Sun Tzu skills as well. And a really nice looking smash. 
storming the altar. The storm altar at that. And the Guardians just rolling around around us because, again, they are just unnecessary AI in this position. But again, this is getting taken down. Everyone will return to their cities and hopefully in whatever kingdoms you are in and whatever, whatever alliances you're taking part in, you are able to earn these rewards as well now as you can probably see right behind my microphone we just got more rewards from my alliance mates doing the same thing which means today we've gotten ourselves six thousand gems claiming all that plus all the resources targeted teleports and we've gotten 430 minute speed ups which is pretty darn sweet now check this out we also had one of my gatherers just get back with 1.8 million stone that is a good find and i actually want to send another gatherer out so while we're here i'm gonna go ahead and do that I, I always like to be gathering from these pits because they are the safest way and the most effective way to gain resources so we don't need that eh, we'll go in with we'll go in with all the siege units whatever so there you go guys grabbing huge rewards storming altars and having a great time let me give a little bit of love right here to the alliance that has my back and uh, while well, i have theirs as well Come on through. 1821 is the kingdom if you guys want to come hang out a little bit. But we're out of here for today. Thank you guys so much for coming through. And check out this video before you go. Take it easy, guys. And be good.